good morning dear students in continuation with the direct indirect speech chapter that we were going through today we are going to look at how let is used in indirect speech let let means permit or allow even the use as a verb we can also use it for a suggestion or a proposal so let's see how it is being used now here is an example he said let him buy what he wants maybe thinking of a child who is wanting to buy something asking for it so let him buy what he wants he requested to him requested he requested to let him sorry he requested to let him buy what he wanted he requested to let him permit him allow him to buy what he wanted one bit or it can also be request, uh, written he requested that he might be allowed to buy what he wanted he requested that he might be allowed or permitted to buy what he wanted that way when let is used as a verb meaning allow or permit we can change the sentence from direct speech to indirect speech same way if it is used as a suggestion or a proposal john said let's go for a walk john and some of his friends sitting together and talking chatting and all that suddenly he gets an idea to go for a walk so he suggests to everyone let us go for a walk let us means john is also included in that so john suggested that we should okay we should go for a walk when let is used as a suggestion or a proposal we use the word should in the indirect speech that we should go for a walk that's how let is used in the indirect speech okay now we will look into exclamatory sentences we look into exclamatory sentences how exclamatory sentences Are changed to do in the speech. Is what we are going to see now. Okay. What is an exclamatory sentence? A sentence that is used to express sudden or strong feeling of a person is what is called exclamatory sentence. captain express when we change a sentence from direct speech to indirect speech uh, exclamatory sentence word showing exclamation and exclamatory mark word showing exclamation is pura and the exclamatory mark is removed 
in the entire string that is not there and this becomes a statement form. Sometimes it could be like what a beautiful day, what a what an interesting show. Okay? It's not an interesting day. When this kind of question type of sentence comes also, it becomes into statement form. That is where when we use an explanatory sentence to do Next thing is the introductory verb. The introductory verb has to be exclaimed or expressed joyfully, expressed sadly, expressed happily, or uh, cried. All those introductory words suiting to the situation can be used when we change a direct speech sentence into indirect speech. Now talking about a wish, okay, she said, If I were a bird, I would Thank you. 